And we're ready to kick off here. Qatar versus Bangladesh. Bangladesh in their red strips this afternoon. Running from right to left of your screen and we're underway. Qatar to receive and first use of the ball. Qatar straight away finding the gap right up the middle of the pitch. She's over the halfway line. She's reaching the 30. She's up to the 22. It's the number one for Qatar, Marwa Tejini. Great solo effort there from Marwa to put Qatar in an early lead, 5-0. Yeah, great line break and showing the pace and uh, certainly the, the stamina to get herself 80 metres up the pitch for what was a cracking try. Great start to the game. We watched a bit of Bangladesh earlier today and we know that they've got uh, the Akta sisters and they've certainly got a lot of pace out wide. Um, they've got Kabita Roy who is lightning when she gets the ball and let's see if they can get her some ball and she can show them what she's got. That conversion was unsuccessful. The score remains at Qatar 5, Bangladesh 0. Now then, Bangladesh with an opportunity to attack. Fantastic hit and steal there by Qatar. And they've popped the ball up. They find themselves in the 22 again. Knock on from Qatar. We'll pull up a scrum. Yeah, Bangladesh just need to take a bit of time, slow it down and settle down. Testing, testing. Yeah. Good scrum win there for Qatar. Swinging it out to the right. There's a big gap. She's popped it up, but her friend didn't pick it up there. It's Marwa, swings it back into the middle. Ball back on the inside. That's number one. Number seven, it is. Number seven for Qatar in under the post, and that is Yasmin Tobun. Yeah, Qatar just doing the basics right here. Very strong at the scrum, using the width, using their players. Great support running, and uh, it's showing on the scoreboard at the moment. Bangladesh still a very good side, as we saw this morning. They just need a bit more possession, and I'm sure they can show what they can do. Another unsuccessful conversion. Score still remains 10 nil to Qatar. Opting for the kick right up the middle of the park. Let's see what Bangladesh can do with it. That was a huge hit in the middle. The Bangladesh girl still down. Yeah, unfortunately for Qatar, straight off their feet there at the ruck. Yeah, Qatar have certainly done their homework. Number 10 for Bangladesh, Alisa Islam, was a, a devastating runner this morning. She's one of their strike runners, and they've certainly kept her quiet in these early stages. I think the referee's playing advantage here. Yeah, penalty advantage. And ref going for the pocket. Yeah. That was inevitable for uh, Bangladesh. Not getting back their 10. And now it's a Sinbin for Bangladesh. Yeah, and it's number two, Beli Akta, um, ultimately the recipient of repeated team infringements.
Uh, Bangladesh noticeably slighter in the scrums, and they've had a bit of difficulty in the first one. They're going to have to get some quick ball out the back here. That's a big push from Qatar, but Bangladesh come out with the scrum win. Qatar throw it to the left. They see a big gap. They go to it. And the number two, Hannah Clark, throws the dummy and she goes in under the poles. Great try there for Qatar. Qatar stretches their lead. 15, Bangladesh nil. And that attempt is unsuccessful. The score remains Qatar 15, Bangladesh nil. Yeah, Qatar certainly bullying Bangladesh at the breakdowns, uh, maintaining possession and just doing the basics right. It's a big run there from the big Bangladesh and the big don't argue. Yes, yes. Yeah, but Qatar has come up with the ball. She's had a cracking day. <coughs> Just ran out of support there with that run. She needed the support. Wasn't quite there. Big scrum here for Bangladesh to win. Qatar have been very dominant here in the scrums. Bangladesh come up with a scrum win. Qatar straightens up. She's still going number six for Qatar. Yasmin Debi gives it to the number seven. That's Yasmin Dobun. Yeah, Bangladesh again guilty of uh, not letting the ball move around. They're trying to take the contact. And against a, a bigger, stronger Qatar team, they're really struggling to, to keep possession in those contact situations. That conversion is successful, and at half time, Qatar have a convincing lead over Bangladesh, 22 to 0. Quick shout out to the local Indonesian fans that have come out here to watch some great Asia Rugby Sevens action. To all the Baba Baba and Ibu Ibu over there on the far side of the field enjoying this rugby, enjoying a couple of cold drinks. Thank you for coming out and supporting Asia Rugby.
Yeah, Bobby, I think we saw some very structured play from Qatar in the first half. Um, certainly done their homework on Bangladesh, winning the breakdown, strong in the scrums, and just doing the basics right. I think Bangladesh uh, haven't had the opportunity to, to spread that ball, giving it to their speedsters out wide. But let's see what happens in the second half. Qatar gets it started, running from right to left of your screen. Nice little movement here from number one of Qatar, Marwa Tajini. They send it out wide. It's, it's Yasmin again, Yasmin Tobun. Qatar on the far right, using that short blind side. She pops it up. It's number 11. It's Rachel Innes. In for the try. Yeah, another well-worked try. Lots of continuity. Great interplay between the ladies. And uh, ultimately, good try in the corner. Qatar cer certainly dominating this encounter at the moment. But I think it's like you said, Bangladesh just haven't had an opportunity to get their hands on the ball and, and show what they can do. That attempt to conversion was unsuccessful. The score remains Qatar 27, Bangladesh nil. Right, and Hannah Clark's just left the park. She's having a, a bit of water and trying to rehydrate. Going one way, steps the other way. Yes. Bangladesh on the on the charge. That's that's Runa Akhtar, one of several Akhtar sisters. Let's see if they can get this Bangladesh team going. It's now to Nisha Akhtar. Let's see if Nisha can pull out something here. Good hit there from Qatar. And a good recover. And a knock on. Yeah, I think Bangladesh have just shown us some glimpses of what they ca are, are capable of. Certainly spreading it wide. They've got a bit of gas to burn. They've had a few nice line breaks there. They've just got to get that last pass away. And uh, I'm sure we'll see them on the scoreboard soon. Free kick to Qatar. <laughs> Qatar then, middle of the field, 40 metres out. What can they do? Nice switch back in play. Another little switch there. Qatar using the ball. Yeah, and Tajini has played very well there to get that ball away. It's Tobin again with a bustling run. And Thank again we have Tajini. Oh. Tajini a try scorer earlier. Great interplay here. That's a big number 10 from Qatar. That's Filipa Inez. The referee will pull it back for a penalty for Qatar. Qatar called back, not taking the, the kick from the from the mark. So they'll regroup and start again. And there's Tajini, earlier try scorer, and she's in for a second. Great play. play. Saw the space next to the, the upright and took the gap, took her chances, and ultimately a good try in the end. Number nine, Tegan McCormick onto the field, and she's replacing number one, Marwa Tajini, the, the try scorer. That conversion was successful. That stretches Qatar's huge lead, 34, Bangladesh nil. And now we have the other Tajini, Safa Tajini, taking the kickoff. Clearing kick here from 
Bangladesh, but I don't think it was the right thing to do. Not at this stage of the game with the score the way it is. I think they should have run the ball, but now Katara are on the attack again. And a knock-on from Tobun, but the referee says Qatar were offside. Bangladesh get another opportunity to use the ball. Bangladesh then. Qatar now with the ball from a messy play from Bangladesh there. Tobun. Tobun to Tajini. Tajini to Tobun up the middle. She'll say, thank you very much. Get out of my way. It's my second or third try of the game. Right under the post there for Tobun. It is now Qatar 39, Bangladesh nil. Yeah, Safa Tajini and uh, Yasmin Tobun, great interplay there um, that led to that try. It just shows a bit of teamwork, a bit of continuity, great support running lines there, and uh, ultimately an easy try, which has just stretched that lead now for Qatar. Unsuccessful uh, attempt there for Safa Tajini. The score remains at 39-0. And it's the try scorer at Tobin who's been replaced by number 13, Angel Neaters. Little bit of concern here for the try scorer, Tobun. We have the medical team now attending to her. Let's hope it's nothing serious. We have the very qualified Jess Jamhur out there leading the medical team for this tournament. I'm sure she has everything under control. And she's fine. She's up and running. Thank God. As Qatar will get us restarted. They find the 22 off the kickoff. That's the final hooter. Bangladesh looking quite scrappy here. Qatar have found the ball again. Good recycling here from Qatar. Let's see what they can do. It's big number 10 with a big charge. That's Inez. And even though the clock's gone and the game's pretty much won, Qatar still want to finish this one on a high. It's the number 12, Rebecca Richards in for the try. And she runs it all the way underneath the posts. Yeah, strong finish to Qatar. Pretty much the story of their game. Played really well. Um, the team, team as a whole performed really well and it's good to see them playing right through to the end. With the unsuccessful attempt at uh, conversion, that's the end of the game. Qatar 44, Bangladesh nil.